Yes, I know my hair looks horrible, but that is literally because I've just washed it and I'm letting it air dry. Leave me alone. It's all horrible and curly. And with that topic, I want to talk about flaws. I feel like I need to move over here a little bit. I want to talk about flaws. The flaws that we see in other people and the flaws that we see in ourselves. Now recently I went to a party. I was talking with someone and they were just telling me that they saw so many flaws that they had in themselves. And this person is someone who I hold very dear. Um, so just hearing them talk like this made me want to pick them up and shake them around going, Stop! You're amazing! But I want to talk about flaws specifically because they're all right to have. <laughs> now, I don't know about a lot of you, but I don't like picking out my flaws. And the very specific reason is, is because they're still flaws. For example, I have a bit of a stomach on me and I'm not denying that. I think sometimes you need to come to terms with your flaws in order to accept them. Anyway, I was talking to this person and they just kept going on and on about how they had so many flaws and then they looked at me and said you you seriously don't look like you have any flaws now that is not true that is not true point number one the stomach point number two <laughs> i look hideous when i wash my hair <laughs> in all seriousness oh by the way i can move my arm again for those of you who are concerned in all seriousness Flaws are something that we all naturally have. No one is perfect. And I feel like we all sort of need to accept that fact. Specifically because we, as a society, just spend all our, our time nowadays comparing each other. You know, like I see so many Facebook statuses and they're all comparing each other. Going, oh now you can't wear this dress because I'm going to wear it. You can't wear this makeup because I'm going to wear it so on so forth. Now I like to think that <laughs> me not being a properly functioning girl, obviously, <laughs> um, I sort of step away from that a little bit. Point number one being, I don't use makeup half the time because I don't know how. Yeah, that's not, that's not the fault of mum or anything like that, I just never found an interest in it. But you know, I know some girls that do and they feel like they need to go out every day wearing makeup. Look, if that gives you more confidence, all the power to you. Seriously, it's what you feel you need to do to be comfortable in your own skin. But needless to say, everyone has flaws. So I don't think we should compare each other going, oh, this person's so perfect, when really they just have their own flaws. Bringing it back to myself, for example, I know I'm very selfish in doing this, but I get nervous when around crowds, yeah. That's partly why I wear this. Now a few of you have asked me about this actually. What's the green band that you wear? I wear it for two reasons. Reason number one, I play with it when I get nervous. Now, if you if people in real life have ever seen me playing with my wristband, it means I'm nervous. It means that I'm nervous for some reason or another. You can pick up on that or you cannot. I really don't care. But second reason, and this is the more popular reason, it's green. Hello, Jacksepticeye. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, I always relate things back to Jack. But yeah, that is one of my flaws because I get nervous for no apparent reason. I like to act more confident, but I get really nervous, especially around people that I don't know. Now, I know I have claimed to a lot of my friends that I am a quote unquote social butterfly and that I can go up to random people and talk to them. I can, if it's one or two people. If it's a whole crowd of people, nah, -uh, not happening. I'll give you an example. Recently, my neighbor and quote unquote best friend, uh, Chloe, she, her older brother had a birthday party, right? And he invited me to go. Cool, we've been friends for quite a long time. I go to this party, I know no one there. Prime example of when I'm gonna play with my wristband. You see my issue? It's absolutely ri absolutely ridiculous and I don't know how to fix it. But that's the thing with flaws. You don't fix them, you just accept them. And you know, I've accepted that I get nervous around people, hence the band. Another one of my flaws is that 
<laughs> this is such a stupid one, but I feel like I need to admit it. I have globular phobia. Now, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's... I believe I'm using the right word, actually. Globular phobia? Globular phobia is the fear of balloons popping. Or balloons in general. And this is so embarrassing for me to admit, because balloons are literally fucking everywhere. But it was so embarrassing. The first time I ever admitted it to my friends was literally... I think it was two years ago now. And we were at someone's birthday party and the... My guy friends were just goofing around and they were popping balloons for fun. And I was like, seriously guys, can you stop? Like with like my head down and with my hands over my like ears. And they were like, oh, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And I had to admit that I had globular phobia. I gave them a good beating first, but God. It's a very embarrassing phobia to admit, but again, it's one of my flaws. That's the thing. We all have flaws. None of us is perfect. And if you are fucking perfect, then you must be a fucking robot. I swear to God. Even robots have glitches. There! I said it! But yes, I felt like this is something that we needed to talk about because, honestly, there is perfection in our imperfections, in our flaws. And I feel like the minute that we sort of accept our flaws, we begin to realize just how amazing we really are. You know, I have met so many people that, you know, they all claim to have so many flaws, but then I just look at them and I go, you are gorgeous. You are beautiful. You are brilliant. You are amazing. And despite your flaws, you are still all of those things. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> just because we have flaws, does not mean that we're not perfect. No, nope, that sounded better in my head. What I mean is, is that there is perfection in imperfection and due to our flaws, we are all imperfect. Therefore, we are perfect. Better phrased, but I still don't think it makes sense. <laughs> anyway, this is just stuff that's been going on in my mind and said person who I'm making this video for you know who you are, and I want to say thank you for giving me this video idea, but yeah, you as well. You honestly, to me, are perfect, and <laughs> I don't know, the, the subject of flaws is a really touchy one, especially for teenagers nowadays, because they're all like, oh my god, I'm so flawed, I have so many things wrong with me, what's wrong with me? Guys, we all have flaws. Everyone has flaws. We just kind of need to accept that. <laughs> the minute you accept that, you'll be fine. Trust me. It's fine to have flaws. No one is perfect. There is perfection in your imperfection. So if you're imperfect, technically that means you're perfect. This is a weird video to film. I'm sorry. I've been painting all day. <laughs> I've been painting all day probably inhaled way too many paint fumes. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end this here before I ramble on too much more. Hope you guys are having a good day, night, month, year, whatever time it is in the world, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!